Hi guys. Hey, we got back from Utah, so I want to give you a little update. There was just incredible things that happened. We saw a lot of people that we've met before, and um, people got healed. There was a lot of uh, prophetic stuff that started coming out. People were really getting encouraged, and some people felt like their whole lives had changed over the weekend. So, But I want to tell you something. We were talking, you know, I've talked to a lot of people, and we're talking about, like, the shift, the change, things that are happening. And basically what it, what it boils down to is this. Um, people haven't felt the power of God. They haven't had an experience with the Holy Spirit. They haven't had what we've had. Some of us that have been around for a while, we've had experiences with the power from heaven, for, from the Holy Spirit. And so we know what that feels like. However, the young people don't know what that is because they've never had it. They've never had an experience with the Holy Spirit. They didn't go through the movements of God like we did. They didn't go through the Jesus movement. They didn't go through renewal. They didn't go through the prophetic movement. They didn't go through these things. So here's what happens when the power of God begins to show up like it's going to, and it is already happening, by the way, especially in the marketplace, but also to the universities and places like that. Everything else becomes a joke. Now, what I mean by that is we've had people who have come into some of the outreaches that we've done. They've been very sold on the New Age. They were they thought that was the way it was. They felt the power, uh, false power, of course. And um, then when the Holy Spirit got a hold of them, they knew that it was different. They were like, oh my gosh, what is this? I want this. Uh, they've never had that before. They've never experienced that before. So we are at a time right now where we're going to watch God just literally download us. Now remember that it says uh, in Acts, it says you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and then you're his witnesses all over the place. And and that power means dynamite power, means dunamis power. And what happens is it it is a true statement from heaven that lets everyone know, everyone know that everything else is false. That's what happens everything else becomes a joke at that moment because there's nothing that compares to the power of heaven. There's nothing that compares to God's power. There's nothing, nothing. I mean, literally, people have been operating, even in the witchcraft, even with, with a witchcraft and different things, it is a false power. It's power, but it's just false power. So when the real thing hits them, when the real thing is invited to, uh, to overtake them, they become like they're shocked, they're blown away. Now we get to, we experienced some of this on just a level, you know, just a small. I feel like scratching, uh, you know, the top, uh, the top of the iceberg, right? But this is getting ready to hit with such a power. There's going to be such a power released from heaven on this earth that it is going to shake everyone to the core, and everyone is going to know this is not a false thing. This is. This is the real thing. This is, this is life altering. It is life changing. It is conforming. It is transforming. It is. It brings clarity to confusion. It brings um, power and, and healing to weakness and to discouragement. It brings. Um, it brings hope to hopelessness. It brings uh, joy to sorrow. There is so much that God does in a moment of time. A moment of time. And he, and he wants us to experience his presence. He wants us to experience his power. He wants us to know, look, I'm, I'm not only coming, I'm here, but I'm only increasing. This is only increasing. And so then we're going to see, I knew this, I knew this, I knew this. I knew that there's going to be a huge outpouring of five areas, five areas I've, I've, I felt like God told me one is the homeless arena, right? I told you that before. The homeless, I believe they're going to go from madmen to missionaries overnight. Then we've got the children because there's an attack on the kids. There's going to be an incredible uh, outpouring of the Holy Spirit on the kids. There's going to be a whole transformation of people that have been searching. They're seeking. They're just looking. They're looking for the real thing. They just have never found it. They've never experienced it. In the new age, there's going to be a transformation. There's going to be a surrender of things that are false and phony and not not really true, uh, even though they had some level of truth, they didn't have real truth, and they're going to lay them down, just like the wise men did in, in, Mark, in Matthew 2. They, when they found, they followed the star, right, to where Jesus was born, but when they found Jesus, they worshiped. 
when they found Jesus, they worshiped. So they forsook everything else that they'd already been uh, following. And they found Jesus and they worshiped. And that's going to be the new age. They're going, to, they're going to surrender all the things that have been false and phony and only partially powerful. And they're going to begin to hold on to what God has for them. Then there's also going to be a return of the creatives and the artisans and the people that, that have been have nowhere to go. They, they're literally being given blueprints, downloads, and, and incredible and creative ideas from heaven, but they've got nowhere to express them. They've got nowhere to bring them to life. So there's going to be a visitation on that. And the, and the prodigals are coming back, right? The ones that have been on universities and different places like that. They're all going to, they're just going to be, this is going to be a transformation on epic levels. Um, and then the church. The church will have an opportunity. I want you to hear me. And I'm saying this because we pastored, we are pastors and we pastored, the church is always given an opportunity to partner with the Holy Spirit when a move of God comes. If we choose not to partner with the Holy Spirit when a move of God comes, he will move on and do something else somewhere else where he is welcomed. You need to hear that. We had that choice. We, we had that happen to us in Oregon. We were just a little church on, in the middle of nowhere and the Holy Spirit began to move, and we had an opportunity to either partner with what God was doing, or we were going to just keep going like we did because it was safe, and it felt like, you know, well, it's not so much of a mess. But if we had done that, he would have moved on and probably just out done an outpouring somewhere else. But we wanted it. We were willing to put our, our lives on the line, our reputation on the line, everything on the line, in order for God to do what God wanted to do, because it is his church, by the way. He said, I'm going to build my church and the gates of hell won't prevail against it. And so we're doing, we're watching a whole new thing. But when the power of God shows up, we are going to have such an incredible visitation that we, it's going to be ridiculously good. Okay, just, I mean, it, and, and the, again, the reason why we're seeing all this weird stuff and all these uh, pronouns, uh, gender confusion, all this kind of stuff going on is because they've never had an opportunity to experience the power and the presence of God. It is an, ex it is a, uh, an, it, it is, um, it is a revelation. It is a uh, impartation. It is an encounter. It is transforming and life-changing when it happens. So get ready. Don't give up hope on people that are believing all kinds of knucklehead things. When this happens, it's going to be transforming. And it, I, we've just seen a few <laughs> moves, so we know this is going to happen. So I want to encourage you. Um, the Oregon Coast, it was uh, in a little town called Reedsport, Oregon. It was just above Coos Bay. And uh, it's literally, it's on not, uh, not on some maps. But that was in the 90s when that happened. But it's, it's launched everything that we're doing now. So um, I want to encourage you. We're doing more tr uh, learn and launch trainings, one-day trainings. Uh, we're giving out everything that we've been given. So we're launching people into the marketplace with all these creative and fun ideas of how to do a ministry out there where you're not um, cussed at. It's not, it's not traditional. We are grassroots. We are totally grassroots all the way around. And um, so we're going to have a training center that we're going to start doing here. And we're also going to be, I'm going to be in Seattle. I'll be at Seattle Revival Center over Mother's Day weekend. I think it's the four, May 14th uh, and the 15th. So I'll be there um, Saturday doing a meeting. I think for, I think it's, uh, I don't know what it is on, on Saturday night. Then I'm going to do three services on Sunday uh, at Seattle Revival Center in Seattle. So make sure and come to that. I'm going to be down with um, Open Door Houston uh, over Memorial Day weekend. So if you can make it to Houston uh, down there um, with the Kennedys, we're going to be doing a meeting uh, for their um, Open Door uh, Church. And then um, in June, we're doing a family camp up in Montana. I'll have all that stuff on my website. Go to my website, cindymcgill.org. Make sure that you sign up. If you have not bought Words at Work, make sure and get that book. We have it on downloadable Kindle. We've got it on paperback, and we've also got it in audio. <laughs> you can't miss it. So uh, it'll give you a lot of information about how we reach the culture of today. Um, and, and we need it.
we need it. So, um, but we're going to be doing these one day trainings. I've got an outreach scheduled uh, to DC. Um, it's going to be in this probably in the fall, either late September, early October, or it might be over Halloween. I don't know. We do a, an outreach over Halloween called Awaken the Dead. I love it. And we just go all out. We go into all the crazy places and places where people uh, are hanging out and they're getting uh, false food. I always call it false food, right? Because it's not real. <laughs> it's not the real thing. So we're going to give them the real thing. So they'll have something to contrast it to. All right. So make sure and uh, hang on. We're going to do Zoom meetings. I've got a actual, um, I'm going to do a live uh, Q&A. Uh, it's 30 bucks uh, for two hours. And it's a, a live Q&A on Zoom about dreams. So you can ask questions and we'll answer your questions. We're going to give you some information about dreams. I also have on my website uh, a beginner course, an intermediate course, and then we always do the live advanced course and then we also have a dream form coming up this week so if you can't you know if you can't get here at least you can download the two courses that are available you watch anytime i also have on my website um a whole full day training with barbie breathed on dreams and you can download that and watch it and get good information about your dreams if you feel like you're not uh, understanding them or, or we you know we're trying to give get you educated as much as we know about dreams as well so um, but this is uh, this is like a new thing. We are definitely um, we are we are going to equip everybody we can with everything that God's given us. But I'm just telling you right now, uh, they they haven't seen the church, they haven't felt the power, they haven't been a part of an experience, they have not been a part of a move of God. That's why they're falling for all this other stuff. But I'm telling you, it's coming, and it's coming in a big way. And we are going to be blown away. It is going to be so incredible good. And the uh, the um, training center that we're trying to put together uh, is going to have a place for the creatives, the artisans, the ones who need to express things that don't have to go out to Burning Man in order to make their art come alive. We can bring that into here, into a place where it is uh, anointed by the creator. <laughs> How's that? It's anointed by the creator. So, all right. God bless you guys. Go on my website, cindymcgill.org, um, and make sure and sign up for the shout. We're going to be putting this video on and another one um, and anything that we've got. So, I'll try and get some of that stuff. The, um, I, it was God's place in... Um, Ogden, Utah. I think you can go on God's Place website and see the Sunday morning service. But um, I'm going to try and get some of the um, the stuff from um, the weekend, like the training that we did. And I'm going to edit it down and get that available to you as well. So, all right. Okay, so everything else, remember, when the Holy Spirit comes, when the power of God comes, everything else becomes a joke. You see it for what it is. And you're like, oh my gosh, what was I, what was I doing? I mean, we've, we've already watched this happen. So anyway, um, witches shut down their booth next to us one time and got in our line because they said we cannot compete with this. We don't know what this is, but we can't compete with this. I love it. I'm telling you, God's showing up in a big way. All right. Talk to you soon. Go on my YouTube channel and rumble. Make sure that you sign up and subscribe to it. And also rumble. I'm on both. Um, and uh, so we'll get this out to you. All right. All right. God bless you. Peace out. Uh, it is Tuesday. Two, two, Tuesday. I think, right? I don't know. I just got back from Utah. I don't know what day it is. I think it's Tuesday. All right. God bless you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.